Hi, my name is Boris Karadogan. I'm the CEO of Endless Mobile. And my name is Ben Carno, and I'm a senior designer at Hack. Can you guys talk about what Endless is? Sure. Um, the big picture is, you know, we're going to be living in a future where um, either you change the technology that, uh, or the technology changes you. So we want to make sure it's the former. And we want to create a platform that enables kids to learn how to code uh, easily, make it fun. And that's what we've noticed. Uh, you know, sophisticated programming environments are good for only really, uh, really adept kids, or Scratch is sometimes too basic, but there's a big gap in the middle. So what if we did some hand-holding, create games that teach coding, or create tools that tell you, here's where you go to learn for this, and here's a little nudge, here's a little hand-holding. We would like to have hundreds of thousands of kids become developers, coders, through tools like this, and make it fun and easy for them. I feel like we've seen that concept before, but not at this level. We've seen a lot of robots teaching kids how to code, like a lot of like you know physical things, but not a basically a pre-made video game kind of holding your hand, as you said, showing you how to code. So why is this different? It's one made by gamers. A lot of the people that work for us are people who created games. So we know how to make things fun. And secondly, some of, some of our tools run on the endless operating system, which is Linux-based and open source. With open source, you can really get into the OS really get into the code to learn how to hack it. I was a developer myself. I used to hack games to try to get more lives in a game. And if we can hack games that were closed source, imagine what kids could do learning hacking open source games. Like I'm thinking of the game Genie. Do you guys remember that for the Super yeah. Nintendo Sega Genesis? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was, kind of a, hack, a hacking device. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So see, already you got fun. You, you already <laughs> thought it was fun, and you haven't even touched it. And you, you yeah. took your first step into <laughs> learning to code by having fun. So what kind of languages does it teach kids? So we're, we're working with a variety of different languages. We have a really, really broad approach. We have uh, five different pathways that Hack has to let kids uh, learn what they want to learn and learn it in a way and an order they want to learn it. So just as an example, in our most recent uh, release that we just had in December, we've got uh, activities that work with um, a JavaScript-based dialect of processing, which is a uh, programming language designed to do art, but can also do interactivity and other things like that. In uh, some other Endless products, like uh, Terminal, the Terminal 2 games and the Endless Mission, those work off of Unity, so that is C Sharp. We're also working uh, in sort of pseudocode-based languages that help kids learn the concepts behind programming before we throw them straight into an actual language with all the, you know, finicky syntax that sometimes comes along with that. it's important to note that if somebody goes through the Unity uh, levels, they can get certified. So imagine yeah. when we have newer and newer games, after, after playing them, kids will be certified to get a job. And that's our dream, to teach enough that they can be, have all of a sudden skills developed while playing games. You guys are a big advocate of open source, so how are you go how do you going to support this community that starts to pick up and use your software and hardware? Your software. Sure. So uh, open source is uh, very uh, it creates communities easily because it attracts a certain people. But eventually, of course, our games will be subscription based, and there's be monetization around that, perhaps with uh, other stuff too. That's awesome. So where can people find more information about your program? Uh, go to endlessnetwork.com, and you can find every single one of these and download them in the uh, iPad App Store. You can download Terminal 2 games today, and uh, that's where you'll find us.